Hey, Perry here um, with a, another little piece of information about this mic. This is the Shure Beta 87A. And one thing that I've noticed about this mic um, is <clears throat> in a small rehearsal setting, uh, you really don't need to use a lot of reverb. Um, because it's a condenser mic, it just has a bigger range of capture um, around your face and mouth. I mean, it's not, it doesn't go much far beyond the small range, but it seems to capture more of the sounds of your mouth and your throat and your inside of your mouth. And that gives you the ability not to have to use very much um, reverb. And <clears throat> in a small rehearsal setting, like I'm in, mostly, um, that that's really helpful because <clears throat> when you start to add reverb um, it tends to <clears throat> create more feedback um, and with these mics literally I'm just running it completely dry and it seems to capture the sound in a way and put it through the speakers in a way that is fuller um, so when I first started using these microphones I was using reverb and a little delay on it um, and I was having some feedback problems, although now with the bigger 10 inch speakers, I'm not having so much, so many problems like that. But now I've basically just decided I don't need any reverb, especially in this small room. And I have very few feedback issues, especially after running the, um, the feedback wizard on the QSC touch mix. So, um, just thought I'd pass that along. Uh, it's a nice uh, added bonus that you get from these. Um, and I would imagine even in a live setting, if you're using these, the engineer is not going to have to put as many effects on it to get it to sound full and to give the singer the proper feedback that he or she would need um, in order to feel confident on stage or in a practice setting. So hope that helps. Um, rock on.